So when you've plateaued and you haven't improved lately, it can be so frustrating playing arena against players with a similar skill level. It's like, you know they're making mistakes, but so are you. And trust me, I know, man, like there's just not an obvious way to really improve in a game like Fortnite. But your crunch, tell me where you at today. Okay, we're talking about three must use tricks for each rank in arena. That's definitely gonna help you guys out and give you an advantage over your opponents, as well as explaining how and why they work. Are you guys ready for this? Let's get it going. All right, so the first trick for open league players is to make sure that you're taking advantage of mobility in order to beat all of your opponents to the zone. You know, an example of this would be to find a car near you and just use it to drive to a zone far away from you. And so the reason that you should be doing this is so your opponents don't have the chance to hold you in the storm if you get to zone late and to lower your chances of getting lobby focused. And so you can always use this to your advantage, guys, like with more of an aggressive approach and really use it to get into zone before anyone else so you can just focus on enemies while they run into zone. Of course, both options for this trick are just more useful in the later zones. And in the chapter two, season six, there's just like no mobility that you can carry in your inventory, but it's still very helpful to have this in the back of your mind so you don't forget it when you need it most, which in most games is very often. All right, guys, so the second trick for open league players is to take advantage of upgrades. You know, I'm assuming the majority of you guys upgrade your guns pretty often, whether you're a casual player or a competitive one. But do you truly take advantage of it as much as you should? All right, so let's just say that you upgrade your shotgun as much as possible at the beginning of every match. You know, chances are you're going to have a huge advantage over all your opponents for the rest of the game, especially if they're around the same skill level as you since your shotgun is going to be doing more damage than theirs. And so the best way to take advantage of upgrading in the current season is to land somewhere that has a lot of cars. And so if you didn't know already, man, pickaxing or shooting cars will drop mechanical parts randomly after every few hits. And so to maximize your chances of getting more mechanical parts. All right, start by destroying the tires, then move into the body of the car and so you can't destroy it anymore and so you can use the mechanical parts to upgrade makeshift weapons so make sure you're taking the extra time to use these tricks so you can maximize your chances of getting mechanical parts and upgrade all your guns the final trick guys for open league players is to sneak attack you know, many of you may have, you know, done this before without realizing it. It is definitely very useful for opening up fights with an instant advantage. And so an example of a sneak attack, all right, is that it's very common to see in game when a player notices an opponent heading right in their direction. So they quietly hide behind a tree or in a bush and, you know, they wait for the opponent to get close. And at the perfect moment, they spray them with an AR and they crack the enemy's shield before they can even react. You should be taking advantage of this and using it to open up all your fights if possible. You can crouch walk behind enemies and box them up before they can even defend themselves. Or just wait for an opponent that's inside your building to get close to you as you hold your shotgun around a corner. So you've probably seen the pros do these things to other pros and players in arena multiple times before, but hey, don't let that make you think that this is a hard trick to master. It's very easy actually for players of all skill levels to really learn and perfect. You can do it, but you gotta believe it first. Also, don't be afraid to get creative and just add your own playstyle into it as well. Okay guys, so if you're still stuck in open or contender, even after following the tricks in this video, all right, then you might need to head on over to proguys.com you know we've got courses that will cover the absolute basics and we've got master classes from the pros that will teach you everything you need to know about fortnite you know it's definitely the best way to improve fast no matter what your rank is so now that you're getting into contender league the tricks won't be as simple but they shouldn't be too hard to get the hang of it you know just with a little practice so the first trick for contender league guys is one that we talked about multiple times in the channel before and ladies and gentlemen it is peace control like if you're not familiar with peace control yet i'll do a quick explanation for you don't worry about it here we go peace control is when you claim as many builds around an opponent as possible or around yourself before they can and so this would include situations like boxing up players you know taking enemy walls coning an opponent running up a ramp and also more defensive ways like claiming a cone under you while box fighting and so doing things like this they allow you to take complete control of a fight leaving the enemy with no choice but to let you edit on them and eliminate them from the match so peace control can be very easy to start learning and very helpful right off the bat but it also gets extremely advanced at a high skill levels which you know makes the majority of pro level fights just turn into a peace control battle all right so the second trick for contender league is something every player has done before and it can be very challenging to deal with and ladies and gentlemen that's third party so a quick example of third parting is if two players were built fighting right 
and a third player to start shooting at them from nearby, making it just a lot harder for the two original players to continue to fight as they were before. So you could use this to your advantage for some free eliminations if you hear a fight near you. So a simple way to do this is to take out your AR and quietly get close to the fight without them noticing. And so once you notice one of the players are fully exposed, you could just shoot your AR at them and just get the elimination for free if they're low enough and you know if you can just push the high ground after cracking their shield and the fight should really be easy from there if played right just make sure that you play it safe since there's just two players after all also this would be a good time to take advantage of peace control like we talked about in the last trick and so you should take the chance guys to third party as much as possible as long as you don't need to go to zone and don't see any other potential third parties in the area trick number three for contender league is a lot more players in every division should be taken advantage of and that's spreading out during in-game box fights okay so an example of this is if someone is above you trying to claim your comb, you can just spread out and make a few boxes around you, which will give you multiple advantages, such as giving yourself more area to work with, right? Like confusing your opponents by making it hard to know which box you're in, giving yourself more opportunities to make quick edits for free shots, and maybe even separate you from the enemy enough for a quick just high ground retake and so there's endless possibilities with this one since there's so much room around you which is why you should definitely add this into your playstyle guys if you haven't tried this before yo i encourage you as your motivation guy give it a shot and comment down below tell me if this helps you or not all right bunch of crunch time it's time for the question of the day all right so we want to know what rank you're in and you know how long you've been there are you stuck in the depths of the open league or you know are you a legend in the champion league or are you somewhere like in the middle in contenders let us know in the comments down below you already know we're going to check it out it's time to get into the champion league tricks here we go so these can be very challenging to pull off, but as always, practice makes perfect, right? And of course you can put these to use even if you're not in Champion League for a huge advantage of your opponents. So our first Champion League trick is Dead Side W King. I don't see many players doing this since, you know, usually Dead Side is only used for passive play, but if you're in the mood to W Key while wanting to play it safe at the same time, this is your best option. You know, it really just gives you your opportunities to fight without a high chance of getting third party, and as well as getting you some pretty free eliminations since most players on Dead Side do not want to fight and they'll definitely be caught off guard. So if you don't know what Dead Side is, it's pretty much the side of the zone containing the least amount of players and it can really usually be found on the edge side of zone or map that the circle pulls to also pairing this trick with a sneak attack is absolutely perfect for an even bigger advantage over the enemy all right so the second trick that we got for you guys for champion league is to take your opponent's wall with a makeshift or mechanical bow so this is a very good trick guys for a higher chance at claiming your opponent's wall especially if you're a high ping player this is because the bow has a travel time meaning that you can shoot it at the wall and be ready to place the build before the arrow hits if you're fast enough and as you probably already guessed it works on more than just walls but it's not as simple as it seems so the bow depending on rarity doesn't do very much damage to build so you're going to want to get the opponent's wall pretty low before trying this trick probably around like 40 damage or less. You can do this by shooting the wall till its health is low enough as you can keep some distance between you and the enemy. All right, bunch of crunch on me. Here it is, the final trick of the video. This one might sound a little crazy, but holding two shotguns in your inventory will give you a huge advantage at the moment. So everybody knows, you know, the epic and legendary pump shotgun is the king of all shotguns in Fortnite. But in the current season, it doesn't always do the trick. The primal shotgun is now one of the strongest weapons in the game because of the amount of damage it does at an extremely fast rate. Chances are, if you have a legendary pump and your opponent jumps into your box with a primal shotgun, uh, they're going to win the fight. And that's why it's so extremely useful to carry both a primal shotgun and a pump or a makeshift shotgun. And so doing this allows you to play safe and keep your distance when using the pump or makeshift shotgun, while at the same time using the primal to surprise your opponent if they jump in your box or if one of you decides to make a close, aggressive play. So, you know, it can get confusing deciding, you know, which one is best to use during different situations in a fight. So, you know, I recommend using the pump or primal shotgun for a quick peeks and shots farther than a box away and the primal for anything closer than that. All right, have fun with this one, guys. Bunch of crunch army. Okay, so if you're still stuck in rank and you just can't manage to get out, hopefully at least one of these tips are definitely gonna help you guys out. You just gotta keep at it, guys. Keep persevering, keep trying, never give up, never surrender. And if you're looking to get better at the game, you can always check out the rest of our channel for more tips and tricks. I believe in you guys. I am your number one fan. If you guys like the video, like the video, subscribe to the channel. And if you want some more motivation, I'm right here. Connect to me on my Instagram at yourmotivationguy. I'll see you on the next one.